So now we've got this written out here, and let's let's hop back over to PHP my admin, and uh, we'll create this users table, and then we'll also we need to add that user index to the uh, pages table. So if we come up here to the breadcrumbs and just click on Adam CMS, it's going to give us the option to create a table. I'll call this users, and uh, we have six columns. So I'm going to go in and go ahead and list all the column names first, just so we don't have to keep jumping back and forth to the uh, sketch. So we have ID, first, last, email, password, status. So ID, let's go ahead and make this medium integer, which means we can leave length and values empty. And it's going to be our primary key, and we want it to auto increment. Then for first, we'll do the var car. Last, we'll do var car. Email, we'll do var car. Password, we'll do var car. And status is going to be an integer. We just need it to be one character. So we just need to put in one and uh, actually what I'd like it to do is by default just go ahead and set the value to one so uh, it'll mean the user is active by default now we could go in there and change this to zero if we don't want users to be active right away uh, but this is kind of convenient so if we click on on uh, this drop down here for default choose as defined and then put in the number one here that way it'll automatically add the one here unless we put one in. So let's go back up here to first and uh, we need to give this a link then. We'll just put in some some generous numbers here. We'll do 200 and 200 for last as well. Email let's just do 300 that again is very generous and password let's just put in 200. Now, password is going to have to do with uh, the amount of characters we need. We'll have to do with the type of encryption we use. So, just so we have options, we'll, we'll keep it at 200. And we're good to go, so we click save. And then now we need to hop back over to pages, and we need to add a column for the user ID. So, what I like to do, and it seems to be pretty common practice, is to put all of our indexes here in the front starting with the uh, primary key so if we click on structure we want to do add one column and we want to do it after ID so it's going to show up right after ID click go and we just call this user and we, we really want this to match whatever our user ID is on our users table so that's going to be medium integer and then down here on index we just choose index it's not the primary key save and there you go so this means if we wanted to find out who the user is we can query the users table uh, and look for the user number that was put in here so let's go ahead and insert a user so let's click on users over here on the left and click on insert keep the ID blank first name. Now I promised the uh, guys from Live Speak Radio that I would use them whenever I'm, I'm doing tests. So the first user I'm going to do um, is going to be myself. And I'm going to put in a fake email address. And the uh, password, make it pretty generic here. But what we need to do is under function for the password, we need to choose one of these encryptions. And uh, for now, we're going to go with the SHA1. Now, we might change that uh, later on down the road, but for now, let's go with that. And what that's going to do is go ahead and encrypt that. And if you're not sure what encrypt means, uh, in layman's terms, it's going to take this and turn it into a string of uh, numbers and, and letters 
that uh, won't make any sense. But the database knows what it is. And uh, I'll explain how this works uh, a little bit further down the road. But let's go ahead and add some more users. So we'll put in uh, Justin Gilson, which is the uh, host over at LiveSpeak Radio, and fake email. And we'll just uh, make all the passwords the same. And make sure we set that. And make sure we set this to SHA1. And we'll click go. And uh, just so I get everybody in here, I'm going to go ahead and add John as well. You guys can actually just put one in if you want yourself. Um, but. Uh, but you might want to put a couple extra in now because we're going to want to be able to mess with these users in the admin anyways. And go ahead and click go. We'll click on browse and here are our users. So while we're here let's go ahead and hop over to pages and let's assign uh, a user to some of those pages just so we have that to mess with as well and uh, I'm just gonna make it kinda random so we'll go to pages and uh, check each one of these and click change and for user um, we'll put in one and then we'll say that John created the about us page and click go so there you go. So we've got our users table and now we can hop back into Aptana and uh, start creating our admin area.